Ibram X. Kendi writes, Dear reader, to know the past is to know the present. To know the present is to know yourself. I write about the history of racism to understand racism today. I want to understand racism today to understand how it is affecting me today. I want you to understand racism today to understand how it is affecting you and America today. The book you're holding is a remix of my book, Stamped from the Beginning, A Narrative History of Racist and Anti-Racist Ideas. A racist idea is any idea that suggests something is wrong or right, superior or inferior, better or worse about a racial group. An anti-racist idea is any idea that suggests that racial groups are equals. I really love that right from page one, we get that definition, those definitions of racist and anti-racist. Would you like, I, go ahead. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, I was just gonna say I agree. I think putting it out there as to common language of what he's saying, those two views are, are so important because we come with our own background and our own understanding um, and sometimes our own crafted definitions of what it is and having that right up front for people to say, hey, this is what we're talking about and this is the, the lens I'm looking through in this book and these are the definitions we're working with, to me is just so critical. So again, just the brilliance of having that right there. And I think for many white people in this country, racist has become a kind of slur. Like it's like the ultimate insult, right? And so we refuse to use it in many places times because we say, oh, but they're a good person on the inside. Where he draws the line, it doesn't matter who you are on the inside, right? If you express this kind of idea, it's a racist idea. Exactly. And I, that is so important because even, you know, in my friendships and things like that, um, where I'm sitting here going, you can't tell me <laughs> as a black woman, if that thought that you just supported or that idea that you just said isn't racist, you know, um, that idea is, uh, and again, good, bad, that's not what we're talking about here. And, you know, certainly a lot of that came out uh, in some of my friendships during the, the election time, you know, where severe lines were drawn. Uh, I think getting us to that point where people can understand that is, uh, is a critical uh, step in us moving forward. Would you like to read um, Jason Reynolds' uh, start of the book? It would be my pleasure. I will try to do it justice. <laughs> it is so good. <laughs> Before we begin, let's get something straight. This is not a history book. I repeat, this is not a history book. At least not like the ones you're used to reading in school. The ones that feel more like a list of dates there will be some, with an occasional war here or there, a declaration, definitely gotta mention that, a constitution, that too, a court case or two, and of course, the paragraph that's read during Black History Month, Harriet, Rosa, Martin. This isn't that. This isn't a history book, or at least not the kind of history book. Instead, what it is, is a book that contains history. A history directly connected to our lives as we live them right this minute. This is a present book, a book about the here and now, a book that hopefully will help us better understand why we are where we are as Americans. Specifically, our identity pertains to race. Uh-oh, the R word which for many of us still feels rated R, or can be matched only with another R word, run. But don't, let's just take a deep breath. Inhale, hold it, exhale, and breathe out, race. <laughs> 